I'm looking for that special girl. Ooh, that special girl. Oh boy. Actually, I'm not looking for um either one. I'm looking for a damn man. We've had enough of boys, and that got me nowhere but heartache. But anyway, lesson learned. Anyway, a uh, special girl by uh, Donnell Jones. So Donnell Jones, Mr. Donnell Jones. Um, if you're not familiar with that song, you might be familiar with Where I Want to Be. But hell, <clears throat> I, um, I'm of a certain age uh, right here. So... <laughs> Many people, maybe people may not even recognize Donnell Jones. I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But if you don't, go check out the song. I'll put the uh, song in the description box. Go check it out. It's one of my uh, favorite songs by him. Uh, it's not really well known. It's not, it's not a very popular single. <clears throat> and I think his uh, popularity had kind of uh, waned by the time that uh, album came out that the song was on. But I love that song, Special Girl. So anyway premise of the song is talking about uh, someone who's looking for another person, a partner, a life partner who is going to um, fulfill them, who is going to love them, who is going to uh, be a partner, as I said, in every sense of the word. In that song, um, <clears throat> Donnell was talking about certain women who he met who... Some would be uh, turn out to be gold diggers. Some turned out to be possessive and stalkers. <laughs> Watching him while he sleeps with one eye open and everything right there. But, <laughs> but pretty much wanting he wa he wanted someone who was going to be genuine. Okay, someone who would be a life partner, as I said, who was genuine with him who was not uh, batshit crazy. That kind of came out in uh, one of the readers last night. Um, go check that out. But, um, <clears throat> shit, what's the, what video was that? I think it was torn. It was, it was torn. <laughs> like, torn in between the two. That was a whole drama. That was a whole mess right there. So, anyway, back to this song. Um, looking for a partner who is uh, who's um, authentic. We're looking for authenticity here. Whether you are a man or whether you're a woman, of course you want someone in your life who is going to be authentic, who's going to be going to be genuine, who's going to be one hundred percent real with you, and not have um, an agenda or not have uh, hidden motives right there. Because sometimes people just get with other people and they may not be upfront with what their motives are. It, but hell, if they're um, somewhat like the description that I've already told you about with the song right there, um, especially if somebody just wants someone for their money or for their status or the material things, they're not going to say that. They're going to wait until you get into the relationship and then boom, that's when they're going to drop the uh, hammer right there. So again, not to scare you with any of these things, but pay attention to the red flags, okay? You can tell when someone is being honest and being genuine about um, their feelings or their affection uh, for you versus when someone is um, using you. So... Let's go ahead and get into this reading, but before we do, you already know this is the channel why I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that I say that don't resonate with you, that you don't agree with, that you don't like, that you don't care about, then leave those messages on the floor. Leave them at the door. Someone else will come along, pick them up, and I guarantee you. If you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. And please hit the thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on social media. Follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So we have Regeneration. This is like the Phoenix Rising right here because the number 46 on this card, it, uh, 46, it equals 10. And 10 is the ending of something. But then... Um, the 10 breaks down into the number one. <clears throat> and the number one is a new beginning. And with that, we have the fork in the road. So someone may be presented with 
um, choice here, our options right here. And then we have poised. So <clears throat> this poised card, this I feel just wanting to, again, wanting to um, do things in a um, in a graceful manner, but then also wanting to be very careful, being very calculated. Nothing wrong with being calculated right here because as I said, maybe someone has gone through a breakup or something when I'm looking at this regeneration card because they're rising from the ashes. So it could be the reason why I channeled that song, uh, Special Girl, right there, or Special Boy, or Special Man, or Special Woman, whatever your, um, your heart's desire is right there, okay? Um, I already told you what mine was, but it's not as if I have someone beating down my damn door. Okay, but this is not about me. Anyway, this person, whoever I'm um, channeling or speaking about, maybe they have gone through a situation where they have dealt with people, as I described in the song, and now they're actually looking for someone genuine and this fork in the road, um, choices, decisions. And just being very careful in their choices with this poised card. Um, shit, if it's anything like that torn in between the two reading that I did uh, last night. Then, or the night before rather. Um, I can see why this person is needing to rebuild. Because whoever they were with right there took them through the damn ringer. Go check out that reading. It was a mess. But anyway... Um, now they're being more uh, careful with who they are deciding that they let into their uh, lives, especially if this person has children or if there are children involved, because you don't want to just introduce anybody and everybody to your little ones right there. Um, it takes time to do that. But again, um, this does not have to just be relegated to a a romantic love reading. This can go towards anything. So, Four of Swords <clears throat> in the reverse. Um, someone I feel has gone through a deep uh, trauma with some relationship here that they've gotten out of because with the Four of Swords, that is after the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, if you are familiar with my channel, if you follow me, that is my Heartbreak Hotel card. That is the anger, the hurt, the disappointment, the breakup, the betrayals, the backstabbing. Um, now I'm thinking of the Ten of Swords, which the Ten of Swords, that's literally being stabbed in the back. I mean, well, okay, hold on. Not literally, okay? Not literally. But when I say that, I mean I'm looking at the card and the man in the card has literally been stabbed in the back, all right? I hope nobody out there has uh, been stabbed in the back, but shit, with this regeneration card coming out right here, um, someone has definitely been hurt in a major way. Anyway, Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. This talks about healing. It talks about uh, reviving, getting some rest, going into retreat mode um, here. So I feel as if someone was in a deep hurt or a deep, um, some deep pain with what went on. And it took them a minute to kind of rebuild themselves right here. Yeah, with this Six of Wands coming out in the reverse. Six of Wands is victory, success. It's getting attention. It's liking to get that attention. This person went into hiding. They didn't want any attention. They didn't want people to know what was going on. Uh, they were ashamed. If their family and their friends knew about whatever happened with this situation, because something happened, I don't know. Maybe we'll get into it. But um, they didn't. They were ashamed. They didn't want anyone to look at them. They didn't want to deal with anybody. This person could have been very used to being in the public eye or getting some kind of attention in some way, but whatever it was that they endured, it was very embarrassing for them to the point that they just went into hiding. I saw this page of um, pentacles that uh, came out. So, uh, well, it didn't come out, but I saw it flip over a little bit. Um, as I said, maybe there were children involved. Uh, the pages are... Um, that younger juvenile energy right there. Um, they also represent news, you know, with something. There could have been something dealing with money, especially if someone was maybe swindled or taken for their money. Or you, well, shit, like the song says. Um, uh, what's one of the lines? 
One so Donnell was singing the song, but then there were women singing some of the parts for the woman. So this one woman said, I'm looking for somebody who ain't cheap. Take me shopping every week. I play this game for keeps. So oh uh, child, here we go with the temperance card. Temperance card in the reverse. Um Temperance card in the reverse is why I mentioned someone being batshit crazy uh, right there. Uh, it's like a mental imbalance or something. <laughs> and um, I'm not picking at people with true with mental health issues or anything. Obviously, I used to work in mental health shit. And I always say that, yeah, we're all a bit, um, uh, all a bit crazy in some ways, you know, in a lot of ways right there. But... <clears throat> When we choose to work on our issues and when we choose to uh, bring ourselves back into balance, then that's when we can make our relationships, especially the one with ourselves, uh, that's when we can make those work and when we can sustain those. So, listen, please don't take offense to that, okay? Because that's not how I meant. I'm just being me and I'm just being real. And I hope you enjoy this video. But anyway, um,. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, I play this game for keeps. So someone here, they got used. Someone here was used for money or they were used for their status, whatever the attention it was that they brought. Someone was kind of hanging on to their coattails in a way. And um, this is what, this is what really... Uh, took them through the rinker right there. Eight of uh, swords comes out in the reverse. So, yeah. At one point, if they felt stuck or tied to this situation, because, and I'm not going to lie, when I was uh, shuffling this deck before I began recording, I saw the king of swords. I saw the justice card. So that made me think, Justice of the peace right there because the king of swords can be a litigator the king of swords can be um, An attorney or a lawyer and especially with that justice card. That's law. That's something legal Then I saw the ace of cups. So this person could have been married to someone There could have been some marriage involved where children were involved or so but if they did marry this person or if they um if they enter into some kind of committed relationship with them, it was almost as if they were in jail. With that Eight of Swords, that could be physical physical jail. It doesn't always have to be, but more than anything, it can be mental jail, mental hell as well too. Wherever this person was, this was a jail for them. They felt stuck, they felt bound to it, but now they're not in that anymore. Obviously, we see that with the Four of Swords. Um, <clears throat> they've gone through a level of deep healing right here. This is this took a toll on them. This really took a toll on someone right here. Hermit energy comes out in the reverse. <clears throat> um again, just going a deep retreat. With that hermit energy coming out, that's already someone who just goes into a deep uh, seclusion within themselves to really just learn, figure out, deal with whatever is going on in their life. It comes out in the reverse. So with that coming out with the Eight of Swords, as I said, someone is... <clears throat> someone, I don't feel... They don't feel as stuck anymore. So maybe there has been some kind of separation or a divorce or something that has happened if this did involve a marriage or something legal, whatever the um, 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 situation was. So for instance, if this was a work situation, then it could just very well involve some kind of legal contract or something that someone has gotten out of. But <clears throat> at one point, I feel as if they were in heavy seclusion or they were deeply in to whatever this was to the point that they didn't feel that they could get out of this. Yeah. And here we go with this temperance card again. So it wanted to come out, and there it is, temperance in the reverse. Um, someone was imbalanced in this situation, or there was some kind of imbalance with this. 
the Knight of uh, the Knight Rider right here comes out in the reverse. Knight of Wands energy. And then we have the Three of Cups. So Well damn. This is kind of Okay, y'all go check out that um torn in between the two reading because this kind of this is similar elements to that. It does not have to be, but <clears throat> the Temperance card right here and then the Knight of Wands which and I think did either I said this in this video or the video I just did before this, but Knight of Wands is very non-committal energy. It's that in and out. It's all about the passion, the fire, the sex, sexual energy right there because he or she likes um, just likes that, but they don't want to commit to anything serious here. But then we have the Three of Cups. Somebody here was um, entertaining other people within this connection or so. So I'll say it this way. This person who's been hurt, all this embarrassment and all of this uh, stuff that they have endured right here, what made them go into a deep depression and this seclusion right here where they didn't even want to show their face to family, friends, loved ones, um, co-workers, anyone, unless they absolutely had to. This person over here was dealing with someone who was also entertaining other people on a very um, high level. Interesting that I say high because the temperance card in the reverse, it can also talk about substance abuse. Three of Cups, this is a celebration, it's partying, it can be drinking, very social. Someone, someone was dealing with someone who was, um, <clears throat> chill. Let, okay, I'm just gonna say it. Someone was dealing with somebody here who was insincere for one with this page of cups coming out in the reverse. So if there was apologies or if there were um, some kind of news or something, another page, another kid, instant lies. There was something about lies with a child right here as well too. Okay, now let's get into it. So, and I I bring it back to this, but you already you you some of you might have already known what I'm about to say here. But um, whoever this person was who already had some kind of imbalance right here, Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, this was this like um, a mother energy doesn't have to be, but uh, it's like it Queen of Pentacles is like the spouse, um, someone who takes care of the home. Um. Right here. So again, you put that energy where it goes. But whoever this uh, mentally imbalanced person was, they could have been uh, doing substances, drinking, drugs, whatever it was. And while they were doing this, <clears throat> very much into that Knight of Wands energy right there. So it's very promiscuous. Okay. Now... If this person who I'm describing right here, if they were indeed doing that or, you know, maybe just having sex with people or getting with other people outside of this marriage or outside of this connection, and it's multiple people, so it's multiple people. There was some, there was some lie about a kid right here, a lie about a child right here. Perhaps whatever that deep embarrassment that someone was feeling right here, maybe they thought that this kid was theirs, but in reality, it was someone, it was one of these multiple people that this person they were married to or in this legal contract with or whatever it was, um, it, it was one of, it was their kid. Bitch, I'm done. I'm so done. This is just as messy as that other reading right here. I, okay, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. This is the mothering energy as well, too. 
Um, so we have two queens that have appeared out here. Queen of Pentacles, who takes care of home, who is the wife. Um, and if it's a man, then it could be uh, someone who is in their feminine energy because with the Temperance card, um, that's about balancing both the energies as well too. But Queen of Cups, um, someone who is very intuitive, who takes care of children as well too. So it was a mother here that lied about who the father of the child was. Shit. Okay, I'm just going to say that. That's not going to be for everybody, but that's what I'm picking up in this reading. And now, Ten of Swords. So I'm glad I mentioned it in the beginning. So that spirit pretty much backing up what I said because I called out this Ten of Swords and I was already seeing it in my mind's eye. And it just flipped out um, of the deck right there. So yes, this is ultimate betrayal right here. This is the ultimate betrayal. With the Ten of Swords, you can't get any more lower than this. And I already said that someone was now in this place of regenerating or rebuilding themselves from the heartache and being stabbed in the back and being betrayed and being lied to. This is another number 10. So again, it's the very end with something. This was the ultimate ending with this relationship right here. I feel as if this person already... Okay. This person already knew that whoever this was, yeah, they may have been using certain substances, whatever those certain substances was, not my business. They already knew that. Hell, they possibly even knew that this person had other sexual partners right there. But, and they tolerated that. This person might have, this person might have been, um, child. The term that I'm getting in my head, wilts. So, um, whip. They were whipped. Okay, so they were either they were whipped or either they were digmatized. Okay, so take that how you go. If this was a man, then if this was a man, then whoever this woman was doing this. Maybe the sex was good and that's what kept him around. If this was a woman who was tolerating this from a man who had an outside relationship, because that very well could have been there too. And he had a baby with someone else outside of this relationship. This woman was digmatized. So she knew about all these other people and partners and everything and whatever he was doing, but she tolerated it for whatever the reason. Okay, so you all put that energy where it goes. I this... Reading has gone an entirely different way, but you know what? I'm just reading this the way that it's coming out. But I feel as if that is a huge confirmation that I saw this card in the very beginning, and now here it is flipping out. As I said, there was some kind of ultimate betrayal here that totally um, threw someone for a loop. This could possibly be why, especially if it's um, if people knew about this kid or something or this child. And then it came out that, oh, that's not really his or hers or, you know, or that's OK. Well, obviously, um, it'll be different for the sexes right there. As I said, if it's a woman, then pretending that someone was the father when they weren't. But if this was a woman um, who was dealing with a man right here then this is embarrassing because this person cheated on her multiple times and had children outside of this relationship, okay? So, whatever it was, it was ultimate backstabbing. Nine of Cups comes out. So, um, as I said, this person, these people, again, they were, they were... They were getting fulfilled in some way, which is why they tolerated this. Nine of Cups is all about happiness, uh, wish fulfillment, um, being very satiated and being very satisfied. So this person could have been very satisfied on, you know, just with everything else. But now, <laughs> but now, as I said, they blocking everybody out with this seven of uh, wands that comes out. This seven of wands, this is about blocking everything, everyone. So, as I said in the beginning, 
they liked all of this attention or maybe they were hell maybe they were even getting attention because of whoever they were with you know maybe family friends their co-workers whoever it was they knew that these people were together and obviously if it was a marriage or something um right there then everybody knew they were on display. Hell, these people probably went to parties together. They did everything together. They went to all the family functions together and everything, whatever it was. But after all this shit went down, this person went ghost. This person went silent. They didn't want to be seen. They protected themselves um, from any of that energy. They, they were shielding themselves. So I'm going to get two more cards and then... Um, I'm going to end this because I really was not expecting this shit to come out. But Seven of Cups. Someone was keeping someone in a uh, fog. Um, delusions right there. This is confusion with that Seven of Cups. But hell, look at all these cups. There are so many different possibilities over here. So remember what I said right here? There was more than one uh, possibility for the um, parents of this child. There were um, several different um, possibilities right here. Somebody got played. Somebody got played to the damn fullest right here. And I don't think they were really used to that. And now it just makes them feel uh, very... Damn. I was just about to say, this, makes, this made them feel very powerless and very weak. Somebody looked weak. Strength card. In the reverse. In the reverse, this is saying that um, all the confidence and all the power and all of the um, pride that we once had with this, now someone is very weak or someone appear as if they looked weak, especially if they were dealing with someone who was, uh, and they were putting up with this type of behavior and everything. Now they look, they look as if they are weak. Very meek energy right here. Damn. Damn, spirit, y'all really talking. Y'all saw that because I was just about to say the word weak right there. And then the strength card uh, flips out. So this could be, um, could be, you know, Leo um, on the board right here. We have Leo. We have Virgo. Sagittarius. Um, we have a couple of cups. So water energy out here too. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you know, I'm just calling out signs. People like to hear the signs and like to get those out. So though with the major arcana though, I'm getting like Virgo, Leo, um, and Sagittarius, as I said, but then the water is lots of cups out here. So this was a um very sensitive issue. Somebody's all in their fields now. Shit, I don't blame you, especially if you thought that some kid or some child was theirs but then it really turned out not to be and it turned out to be somebody else's and this person looks as if they got played for a fool right here but I did see that uh, divorce card that came out with that justice and um, the justice card and that king of swords um, that's legal issues right there that's matter of fact legal issues so child, let me get a few more cards um with this, this is a messy ass shit though. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just here to uh, read the energy. Treasure Island. Yeah, at one point, as I said, because a nine is on here and then the nine right here with the nine of cups, that's um, wishes being fulfilled. At one point, this person or this relationship, it was Treasure Island. You know, there was all love. There was all... Um, satisfaction and everything being satisfied in other ways and stuff but I um mending this person is now having to mend themselves they have to put their heart back together um, as we established with that regeneration card and that four of swords so what else give me one more card spirit one more card one more card yang as I said, this was a, the yang energy, yin and yang. Yin is the feminine energy. 
Yang is the masculine energy. We already established that with this temperance card. As I said, um, you know, that's a balancing of the energies right there. But this is also an imbalance, mental imbalance. So we have that. But with this Yang energy, I feel as if we are talking about a man whose pride was totally shot down. Who um, pride was just totally thrown in the trash right here because of what someone did to him, the lies that they were telling, because there were definitely lies with this page of cups, but the fact that I saw the page of cups and the page of pentacles, so it makes me think, okay, this is a child or something involved. If not a child, then it's um, again, someone maybe being a bit of a gold digger or a lot of a gold digger and maybe just taking someone for their coin or for their money, but um, with this yang energy, as I said, this could be a man who is dealing with this, or this could be a woman um, as well, too. Child, this is messy-ass readings. But anyway, um, follow me on TikTok, Quentin Wilson 944 and hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, to this video. Uh, check below in the description box for a uh, personal reading, how to get in touch with me and everything. And I will link that song, Special Girl by Donnell Jones in the description box. You all take a listen to it. Take a, you know, um, a little peek at that. And God bless whoever went through this shit. Anyway, bye y'all. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>